I'd like to take a look with you this morning at the results of our most recent Breitbart survey that we did across the district. Um, we're going to look first at the district results, sort of a 30,000 feet view of what's going on with technology across the district. Um, this survey um, gives us a result uh, by way of a maturity scale. So if you look across the screen, <clears throat> you'll see that gray indicates a, a beginning skill, something that people are just learning to do. Um, emerging is um, a little more advanced on up through proficient, advanced, which is green, and exemplary, which is blue. Um, so this report is not to be seen as a grade or a check sheet. Um, it's just a measure of where we are and gives us a, a chance to set some goals to move forward and to um, use our technology in the best way possible. So in looking at the district results, um, in the classroom domain, you'll notice that we have a hot spot here where we are dealing with teachers using the four C's as it relates to technology. It's important that we point out that um, this survey doesn't say that we are not communicating and collaborating and thinking creatively and critically um, in our classrooms. It just indicates that we are not using our technology to accomplish these things um, as, we, as we could. Also in the classroom domain, uh, we are in the proficient range uh, where students' use of the four C's is concerned uh, with digital citizenship, both with teachers and students, and with some assessment um, techniques and strategies with our technology, as well as with assistive technology, um, giving students some things to accommodate their learning styles. Um, our access in the district is growing every year. We've um, a lot of our bond money was spent on access points um, this year and at the high school we've uh, worked through some bugs to get our connectivity issues worked out so the access domain is really one of the bright spots in our district-wide survey as far as foundational skills go our teachers seem to be in great shape they're in the exemplary range across the district our students are in the advanced range and this is great um, information because this indicates that um, the setting is, is, is great for us to use technology um, in some of the ways that we're addressing in our classroom domain. Um, one of the things that's interesting about this survey over the past three years, um, <clears throat> two years ago, the um, multimedia area of this skills domain, teachers using multimedia in their classrooms, was down in the proficient range. And through a couple of summers of, of training, we have focused on um, some tools that give teachers the ability not only to use multimedia videos, um, collages, pictures, uh, podcasts in instructional ways, but also to allow students to use those tools to show their learning. So we um, we believe that that we are making a difference and giving some some teachers some tools to use and that has changed uh, the domain across the district where multimedia skills are concerned. In the environment domain across the district uh, we look at policies and procedures. We talk about um, the, the responses of teachers across the district to our filtering policies um, we ask questions about how well teachers and other stakeholders feel that they are supported when using technology. Things like how quickly does our department respond when there is an event that interrupts instruction. Um, so our department sits down and looks at this survey result as well and um, sets some goals to improve. Um, we are we come out in the advanced level, but um, there's always room for improvement there. So just know that we are looking at this information as a department and trying to get better um, in the areas that we serve teachers in our district. <clears throat> the um, area of, <clears throat> excuse me, the area of professional le um, learning is important to us because there's a question in here that asks teachers what kind of professional development they need as far as technology is concerned. District-wide, this domain has um, been, has come out in the area of using multimedia in classrooms um, for the past three years until this year. And district-wide, the request for, multi for professional development related to technology has um, flipped places and the top request across the district now is classroom management related to using technology that is um, now living in our classrooms. I, I think this can be explained 
by um, remembering that we've deployed 1,500 Chromebooks at the high school um, and teachers are requesting help in ways to use those Chromebooks, um, maybe in small group settings, 10 at a time. Um, and so we're paying attention to that um, piece of information for our summer training this year, <clears throat> which um, brings me back to the point that we use the results of this Bright Bite survey district-wide to drive um, the topics of summer training, the, the places we focus, and the strategies that we build in to those courses. Um, we're going to switch screens and look just at Oakwoods. And your login as a member of the Technology Committee um, and Mr. Cody as the principal will give you access just to your campus, but you'll have some comparison features. Um, you'll be able to compare this um, survey time to the last one that we did or to surveys that came earlier. Um, so when you select over time, the March 2017 survey is the latest one. So I'm going to filter those results out. This is the Oakwoods um, dashboard and what you'll discover when you use the link that I sent you um, to log in, you'll discover that everywhere you click there is more and more information. Um, just in looking at this, um, as I said, from the 30,000 feet view, um, you have great access teachers and students um, to technology both at school and at home. Um, foundational skills are excellent. Um, we've got some areas where we can make a difference, I believe, with um, some goal setting with teachers using online materials, students using online materials. And remember that this is not a this is not a grade sheet. This is a maturity scale. Um, so because of the ages of the students that were surveyed, which were third graders through fifth graders, um, you would expect that online use of resources would be in um, in some emerging states. So um, just consider when you're looking at your results who um, answered the questions on the survey. Um, as you look at the classroom domain, yours reflect the districts as well. The hotspots are the teacher's use of the four C's. And um, just know that we are focusing on those areas in summer training, um, not only with technology, but I know in the curriculum department as well. But we will be working to give teachers some strategies to use and support the four C's in classrooms. Um, digital citizenship is always a hot topic with us because when you have students who are connected online as much of the time as our students are, um, it's it really is important that as teachers and as students and um, as instructional support people, we pay attention to the fact that we need to shore up our digital citizenship um, efforts. Um, we're going to talk this summer about different ways to use our devices and our resources to provide some more um, effective <clears throat> formative assessment. Um, so your your dashboard uh, really reflects what's going on in the district, um, and we also want to be able to speak directly to the needs of your campus. So what I would like to offer you after you have a chance to look at your dashboard, and anywhere you click on this dashboard will give you um, more and more information. If you click on the classroom domain, you can break these down. Let's uh, look at the teacher's use of the four C's, for example, and you can choose one of these, teacher frequency of computer use in the classroom. And these are the results just of your campus. So 92% of the teachers on your campus are using computers in their classroom almost daily. Um, and that's awesome. So the information that you're going to get, the digger you deep, the deeper you dig into this dashboard, I think will be great for um, affirming what you're doing and hopefully for setting some goals um, as you move forward. So we can move around in this dashboard. There's a little breadcrumb trail up here. Um, we'll talk about collaboration briefly and show you some of the questions and information. So when teachers were asked how often they ask their students to collaborate online with their classmates. 50% of them said, we never do this. 17% of them said, we do this almost weekly. Um, so there's good information there, places to start. And remember, um, this, is not a, this is not a red X from the teacher's pen. This is a maturity scale and a place where we can um, start to set some goals. When you're looking at your information, I encourage you to look at the details underneath. Um, about why this matters. There's there's good research and reasoning behind why the questions are being asked. Um, and what I'd like to do is offer you 
the chance to come as a team, as a campus, for a day in July where we can sit down and just look at Oakwood's um, information and set some goals uh, for some campus-wide um, projects, perhaps for next year. So thank you. There's good information there. And just remember that it's an emerging, um, it's a scale, it's a maturity scale. And um, another place that I'd like for you to take a look um, as far as your information is concerned, if you will go back to the main dashboard, technology and learning, and come over here and look at the professional learning domain, and you click here, and if you'll come down to professional learning, among other things, uh, teacher interest in educational technology, professional development topics, if you click here, this is what your campus requested. And you might remember um, that I mentioned that classroom management with technology was the district top request, but at Oakwoods, 65% of teachers are still requesting help with using multimedia for instruction and for assessment. So um, because your campus results are specific and maybe a little different, we would like to offer you um, a day in July if you want to bring a team of teachers, if you want to open it up to the whole campus, a day in July just to look at Oakwood's Bright Bites results and talk about some campus goals, strategies, maybe a campaign to um, to have everybody do a, a, a little piece of um, a campus campaign to improve technology skills. Um, whatever Oakwood's needs, we would like to offer you the time to make a plan to um, think about that, not to come and listen to us talk about it, but to come and look at your survey results together and to formulate a strategy for um, changing some of these areas um, for next year's survey. So uh, thank you so much for your time and please don't hesitate to call me with any questions. I'd be glad to um, walk you through some of the specific questions after you have a chance to dig and click and look. Um, there's, just, there's a lot available in this dashboard, um, so I would encourage you not to bite off more than you can uh, chew. Find a place to start and uh, you'll see results, I believe, the next time we survey. So thanks again for your time.